welcome to Script Tonight Reacts. I'm Script Tonight. Today we're going to be watching season one, episode nine of Fargo. It's the penultimate episode. I can't believe we're nearly to the end of the season. So this episode is called The Fox, the Rabbit and the Cabbage. And when I was learning about this riddle, I got very, very excited. So stick with me. So the farmer takes the rabbit across the river. And then he gets back in his boat, rows back to the other side where the fox and cabbage are waiting, picks up the cabbage. So the fox is still there, the rabbit's on the other side of the river, he's got the cabbage. He takes the cabbage over to where the rabbit is, but immediately picks the rabbit back up, takes him back to where the fox is. Picks the fox up, takes the fox to the cabbage, the fox and the cabbage are there, rows back, gets the rabbit, back again. The fox, the rabbit and the cabbage and the man are on the other side of the river. I won't tell you how many takes that took me to get right. Just imagine it for yourself. Yeah, I'm I'm quite it's got me quite excited about this episode and then the last episode. Because as you guys well know, I I need I need to see Lester get his comeuppance and I hope that happens very soon. He was shitting himself at the end of the last episode when he saw uh, Lorne Malvo in Vegas. So I'm not going to do a massive great intro this time because I really do want to find out what's going to happen this episode. So without further ado, let's have at it. Hold a lady Who's tongue? Oh, I don't need this in my life. Better not be Lester. The effects of sleep deprivation on the human brain. Why is Ron talking? I know because a buddy of mine's dad was a subject back during the Korean conflict. I mean, shit, Ray, what's the longest you've ever gone without sleep? Uh, uh, uh huh. Five days for me. This was back in dental school. Marty Perlmutter stole a prescription pad, wrote us all a script for amphetamines. What? I was an animal. All right, me amigo. That ought to do it. Who I'm still a little worried about the 203 and the 204, so we should make an appointment to get together again in about six months. We still on for golf next week? Of course we are, Bertie Bert. But more importantly, are you and Louise still going to make it on Sunday? Uh, do dogs smell each other's butts? I think I might have observed that type of behavior on occasion. Yeah. <laughs> Aces. I don't understand. Is he really a dentist? Is it a different person? Is it another gig? What's he up to? Oh, thanks, babe. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm making my... I just keep pinching myself. <laughs> well, honey, you've earned it. It's like my mom always said, boys, if you like the milk, buy the freaking cow. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> I am going to stick my whole thumb up your ass later. Right. <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. A match made in heaven, these two. It's between us girls and body. Is it uh, be what you like in the sack? <gasps> Fuck off! I'm a rascal. There's no two ways about it. <laughs> yes, sir, Bob. Like I told you before, you and my brother get a little like gangbusters. It's in witness protection. Say what? Said. It's in witness protection. Turn state seven against these mob guys out of Chicago. No, oh, screw it. What are you doing next weekend? Oh my God. We and me were headed for Vegas to a little family reunion. What if you and Gemma tag along? That's why he's in Vegas. Aces. Yes! Okay. Tell my wife I love her. Fuck. Just another day's work with this guy, isn't it? Pulls. I was really freaking out for a moment. I was like, is Lord Malvo just like this guy on the side and he's living some meek straight up and down dentist life during the day you bastards they got me again 
Okay, so I get it. He was undercover to try to infiltrate into this network so that he could get to the brother who was in witness protection because he was going to testify against the mob guys. So it's probably the mob guys that hired him. That's what brings him to Vegas. Got it. Let's get back to it. Play. I put my mask on. Tony hands this me the number fantastic. two needle. I start to give the guy a no-cane shot. <laughs> well, I stick the needle in my own finger. <laughs> and yeah. And it hurt, but I don't want to look dumb, so I try it again. Next time I stick it in my thumb. <laughs> now I'm so flustered that I go to take my mask off. Well, I'm still holding the needle. Jab it right in my face. <laughs> <laughs> and the patient, the patient is like, uh, Doc, what's wrong? And I'm like, I'm kind of cool with my mask off, kind of cool, whatever. I will probably walk over with my arm. Well, what are the odds? Sorry? <laughs> it's me, Lester. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, sir. You must have me confused with someone. No. Minnesota, last year? The emergency room? <clears throat> I didn't recognize you at first either, because you got a whole new, uh... But hey, so have I. Why don't you leave me a suit? Check this out. Salesman of the year. What a prick. Gave it to me on a stage and everything. Uh, Mick, Mike, you gonna introduce us to your friend there? You know, I'd love to, Bert, but unfortunately, I've never met this man before in my life. So. What? Wait, you know, we don't know each other. Walk away. Lester, you do not know who you're fucking with. Ooh. One of those faces, I guess. So, no. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, the old Lester now, he would have just uh, let it slide. But not this guy. Lester, is this what you want? Or no. It's the cat. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. You fucking prick. Oh my. That's on you. <laughs> I worked this guy for six months, Lester. Six, six months. months. Plus the hundred thousand dollar bounty down the toilet, but uh, still, the look on his face when I pull a gun—classic, huh? I'll grab the fat guy's feet. We'll throw him in a dumpster. I can't believe what I'm seeing. <laughs> <laughs> Shed, Lester. See you later, Lester. See you soon. He's gonna kill him. He's gonna absolutely take him to pieces, and I cannot wait. I don't even like Lord Malvo anymore, because, you know, you know, the Jewish neighbor, but he can kill Lester. Lester, are you okay? Get dressed. Get dressed. Get dressed. Get dressed. Come on. Calls. Atticus. Busy. I'm just going to sit and look out the window. Okay. Play. Okay, go. Go. Wait a second. I can't believe you just shot three people dead immediately in that lift. You're gonna end up in the same lift thing. Okay, okay, come on. What makes him think 
he can't be found anywhere in the world by Lord Malvo. Like, what? A man has a fox, a rabbit, and a cabbage. What man? Any man. <laughs> a, a, a man. Colonel Sanders. <laughs> Balls. Mate! I have got a reaction to do, and you are making it very difficult. They do love you, though. This cat is unbelievable. He is so cute. I just want to stop now and play with him. I have a thing to do. It's hilarious. Play. Could be. Could, could be George W. Bush. <clears throat> Why would George W. Bush have a fox and a rabbit and a cabbage? Okay, just listen. A man has a fox, a rabbit, and a cabbage, and he wants to get across the river. Butcher ducking. Oh, what's that now? Stuffs the cabbage and the rabbit, and the rabbit and the fox, <laughs> and he eats all of them. <laughs> I uh, need you to pull the syndicate file. Deputy Salverson. Or Salverson, what does he say? He says he knows who did it. Okay. Where's Bemidji? Yes. Let's get everyone in Bemidji. Saw the profile of Bill on the paper. Yep. For the record, I advised against wearing a sword in that picture. Come on, you piss, sir. Yep. Anyway, I'm in charge today on a kind of Bill's on his way to St. Paul now for a, uh, what do you call it, law enforcement conference. So watch your butts. So when's your last day? About a month. She's nesting. Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah, you buy one throw pillow. <laughs> You're the granddaughter I always wanted, but was afraid to buy online. Bye. Ah, oh, jeez. Three people, huh? Killed how? An elevator, huh? You say one's a dentist? Yeah, what do Las Vegas police want me to... Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah, no, I can go see their witness. Get a statement. What's, uh, what's the witness's name then? Yes! Was it me? Did I do something? What? No, I, I, I told you. I made a lot of new contacts, the awards. Big fish, you have to strike while the iron's hot. I know, but you woke me up in the middle of the night. Oh, I'll make it up to you. How's that? That's just insane, Lester. Hey, we, we can uh, take a trip. Anywhere you want to go. Natalie says in Acapulco you get to drink rum right out of the coconut. Acapulco it is. We should leave tonight. Really? Sure, yeah. Yeah, I mean, why not? A little fun in the sun, drink from a, a coconut. We deserve it. He's literally just said he's got a... <laughs> I am going to get changed and head to the office. I'm going to buy the tickets, get the passports, and then we are going to run away together. Are you? Jesus. 